So if anyone asks you if labor will have a seat at the table in my White House, I hope you know the answer. Of course you will. Labor built the table. And there's going to be enough chairs around it for everybody to have a place. Because you cannot have a strong government and economy and society without manufacturing. And I am proud to be the New York AFL-CIO's favorite sister because of all the work that I've done. And I will take that same commitment to the White House. And I believe in the basic bargain. I believe that unions help keep that bargain for America's working people. That's why it's so important we pass the Employee Free Choice Act. Now, it's no secret that on equal pay and many other issues, we're up against some pretty powerful forces. I'm here to tell you, I am not afraid to take them on. I'm so happy that we are raising the minimum wage in New York. I want to raise it across America. There is hardly a square foot of America that doesn't have your fingerprints on it. From the roads we drive on to the buildings we work in. And none of that would have been possible without your unions. No one knows better than our unions what it means to fight for the underdog. Every day, you are standing up for workers who need someone to stand up with them. And I'm in this race for the very same reason, to fight for everyone who needs a champion in their corner.